What's up, y'all? Trey B. Death in the building. You know what time it is. Hey, man. So, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So, I basically want to introduce who I am to all my new subscribers. Whether you're here for my dipping videos or whether you're here for my two personal bills, which I'm going to get into today. Um, I do have something else besides the prelude. So, I do, I do want to show you guys that for all my new subscribers. But... The reason why my channel is called Trey B. Dippin' is because I be dipping. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Plasti Dip before. Um, I've been doing professional Plasti Dip coatings for about five years now. Um, I do also offer another coating called Autoflex. Um, those of you who haven't watched any of my dipping videos, um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what I do. So behind me here, I actually have a, a I think it's a C6 Corvette, 2002 or 2003. And this is actually done in Autoflex, so you can see that it's kind of shifting colors between like that green bluish and that purple. Really sick color. Those are called color shifts. So I do color shifts, regular solid colors, custom color. Um, it's going to look and feel like a paint job. It's going to replicate the gloss of a paint job before a fraction of the cost. And the best thing is two things. When he's ready to go back to his original color, which is silver, he can just peel it off. And the entire time that he has the Autoflex on there, it's gonna be protected. So, it's a win-win, man. So, you know, since my Prelude is boosted, it's not realistic for me to drive it as a daily, even though I drive it as much as someone would drive it daily. But there's situations because I don't have AC, I can't drive in the rain. Of course, you don't want to drive in the rain anyway with a boosted car. I don't think so anyway. Not, not built like that. Um, but pretty much, means I have to have uh, a daily. And that pretty much brings me to my next point. So, meet the daily. It's my 2010 Audi A5 S-Line. And uh, my little hoopty, you know, she gets me from point A to point B. Oh yeah, get your, get your workout in. One of my more favorite things about this car is the fact that it's bad. I like the pride in my two seater. I like the pride in my. I like the pride in my two seater. Pop the clutch while you chick. Pop the clutch while you chick. Throw the weed up. What, 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 uh. I like the pride in my two seater. Like a chick going roll the weed up I got my feet up and I'm writing all this fucking ether Come through my class and I probably go ahead and teach ya I like to ride in my two-seater Pop the clutch while your chick going roll the weed up I got my feet up and I'm writing all this fucking ether Come through my class and I probably go ahead and teach ya Riding in the coop, feeling like a hot At one point I was working really heavy on, on, on my daily um, I finished it. Well, I got as far as I as I wanted to get about two years ago, which is when I started working on the Prelude. Um, but like I said, she gets me from point A to point B. I've had her about three going on four years now. And uh, those of you who are like new new to the channel have probably never seen this car. Uh, if you've been here since day one, I do have a video on it back when I actually had it auto flex. So if you're watching this video now, and you want to see what it looks like auto flex. You got to go all the way back to like. I don't know, like six months ago when I first made that video. But I wanted to show you guys this is what I drive whenever uh, when I don't have the prelude or prelude curse strikes, which I'm in the middle of a prelude curse uh, session right now. I'm, I'm, it's, it's been kicking me. It's been kicking me in the butt, man. I do know that uh, I probably say uh, a high percentage of y'all who are subscribed right now are here mainly for the prelude but if you guys want to see some more stuff on uh on the daily comment below and let me know man i'll, I'll definitely do more videos i figured because you guys are here for the prelude that you wouldn't be too interested in the audi but um i may start doing videos on it regardless i know people who like audis don't love them like we love prelude so you know what i mean so yeah man um any of you who are true Prelude enthusiasts, you know about that Prelude curse. 
And when it strikes, it strikes hard, man. And the reason they call it a curse is because it's usually a domino effect. One thing goes and another thing and another thing and another thing. For me, I was actually doing, a, I was creating the content for you guys, making a video on how to install a, a Warboro 450 fuel pump because I'm upgrading E85. And in the midst of all that, um, Prelude Curse struck. Um, I actually got uh, or the relay that I had didn't have the writings on it, but it was actually a 45 amp um, relay, which is way too strong. And it ended up, long story short, it ended up frying the ECU, the main relay, and some fuses under the hood and under the dash, which was took me like three days to figure everything out. And I got that was like three weeks ago. So now I got it back running. Everything is running. I got the ECU rebuilt. I got, I had extra main relays laying around. So I took care of that pretty much ASAP. And the fuses were just fuses. So um, now it's running again. Um, but then the Prelude Curse strikes again. Starts overheating on me. Not related to that situation. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I narrowed it down to my water pump. Uh, is going bad so it doesn't overheat like right away it progressively overheats but I noticed that the temperature never comes down even with all the tricks turning the heat up and all that extra stuff it just never goes back down um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, the water pump but I also ordered a tucked radiator uh, that is gonna hold a lot more uh, water and antifreeze or water wetter or however you you know whatever type of cooling you put in your car it's gonna hold almost triple or quadruple the amount of fluid that my half radiator is holding now so between the two of those um, I should have everything ready um, pretty soon um, my goal is to have I got a few things in my checklist to get ready for Honda Day so um, that's pretty much what I'm doing but um so the next few videos I guess I'll be doing a tuck radiator setup and I guess I'll also be showing you guys how to change your timing belt and water pump and all that good stuff so I guess that's something to look forward to but yeah anyway I'm um, sorry this, you know this video wasn't super action-packed I just wanted to uh, show you guys the daily and basically give you guys an update on, on everything I definitely if you're new to the channel I, I my goal is to post every Wednesday a, a video is supposed to drop every Wednesday at 12 o'clock um, 12 p.m. and if you get more than one video in the week just, just consider it a bonus but that's the goal is to get a video up every Wednesday I don't want the videos to be like I want them to be quality you know what I'm saying have something in it but um, I don't I, I do want to get something up for you guys for you guys every Wednesday so um, just keep that in mind so if you look forward to my videos every Wednesday my guy yeah you heard me so with that being said, um, thanks for watching the video. You see that right there? Yeah, click that right there. That's the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching it.